Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. If you're watching this video, then you're looking at the ScanSnap iX1600 and FI8170 desktop scanners, and you're asking yourself some questions like, which one is better for me? What's the difference between the two? Is it worth it to go with the more expensive FI8170, or does the iX1600 have all the features I need? And why are there Fujitsu models and Ricoh models? The answers to these questions are exactly what we're going to look at in this video. I'll be comparing the ScanSnap iX1600 and FI8170 and telling you about important similarities and differences. I'll be comparing them in terms of size, capacity, features, price, and other factors. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can download my guide, which contains an easy to use comparison table, feature guide, and answers to frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying either of these scanners, please be sure to use my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. The first thing that I'll look at is the difference between Ricoh and Fujitsu scanners. In short, they're basically the same thing. Ricoh and Fujitsu are both large companies that make information technology products. On September 1st, 2022, Ricoh purchased Fujitsu scanning division and brought it under the Ricoh brand. Scanners made before April 2023 are branded as Fujitsu, and scanners made after April 2023 are branded as Ricoh. But aside from having different branding, the scanners are exactly the same. Looking at the scanners more closely, this is the ScanSnap iX1600, and this is the FI8170. If after you watch this video, you want more specific information on these scanners, please be sure to check out my individual review videos. If you really want to go deeper, check out my unboxing videos that show you everything that's included in the box and my frequently asked questions videos that I made to answer questions coming from viewers like you. The purpose of this video is to do the work for you in comparing these two scanners. How are they different? How are they similar? Let's find out. Looking at the release dates, the iX1600 was introduced on January 19, 2021, and the FI8170 was introduced about a year later, on February 15, 2022. In terms of color, the iX1600 is available in a black model or a white model, but the FI8170 is available in only one color, which is a mix of white and gray. As you can see, the iX1600 and FI8170 are fairly similar in terms of size, but the FI8170 is slightly larger and heavier. For the exact weights and sizes of these scanners, please be sure to see my unboxing and review videos. Regardless of which unit you go with, the great thing about these scanners is that they're both small enough to be portable. They both fit anywhere in your home or office, and they can easily be used to scan remotely, like at a library, school, or other office. And if you want an even smaller, portable, battery-operated scanner, check out the ScanSnap iX100. Returning to the iX1600 and FI8170, in terms of size and appearance, the advantage goes to the iX1600 because it's smaller, more portable, and available in two different colors. Another big difference between these scanners is the user interface. As I discuss in my review video, a great thing about the iX1600 is that it has a large, full-color touchscreen, which is used to access all of its features and settings. The great thing about this is if more than one person is using the scanner, it can be put in a central place in a home or small office, and multiple people can complete different scan jobs because they can switch to their own unique profile right here on the touchscreen. For certain users, this makes the iX1600 irreplaceable because it means that one scanner can serve everyone in an office or household. Conversely, the FI8170 features a smaller color screen, which provides basic information and also has a variety of buttons that can be used to power the machine on and off, access menus, start and stop scanning, and control various settings. These features rely on the software, which I'll be talking more about in a moment. Although both scanners have LCD displays, and both can be controlled right on the front of the scanner, because of how much more power the touchscreen offers, the advantage in this category goes to the iX1600. In terms of connectivity, both the iX1600 and FI8170 work in Windows and Mac environments, whereas the iX1600 can connect wirelessly or by USB cable and support scanning through a smartphone or other mobile device, the FI8170 can't connect wirelessly and can connect only by USB or network cable, and it doesn't have mobile device support, so it can't be used to scan on a smartphone. Once you're connected with either of these scanners, both scanners operate through software. The iX1600 uses ScanSnap Home for your desktop or laptop, and also uses the ScanSnap Connect app, which runs with mobile devices such as iOS, Android, and Chrome OS. The FI8170 offers a much larger suite of available software, though the easiest software to use is called PaperStream ClickScan. If you're interested in learning more about these software applications, 
please check out my videos on how to download and install them. Although the iX1600 has a touchscreen, I didn't find that I needed to use it during the installation process, and the easiest way to go was to connect it by USB and then later connect by Wi-Fi. To install the FI8170, I found it to be a little less user-friendly, but once it was set up, it worked perfectly. Because the iX1600 has more options to connect in whatever environment you're using and is generally easier to set up, I give the advantage to the iX1600 in this category. In terms of capacity, speed, and scan quality, there are many important differences between the iX1600 and FI8170. Whereas the automatic document feeder on the iX1600 can hold up to 50 sheets at once, the FI8170 can hold up to 100 sheets. In terms of scanning speed, the iX1600 scans at a maximum speed of 60 pages per minute, whereas the FI8170 can scan at 70 pages per minute. If your primary goal is to scan large piles of paperwork, the FI8170 will do the job faster than the iX1600. Also, whereas the iX1600 isn't designed to scan passports and other thick documents, the FI8170 can handle these kinds of jobs. In terms of similarities, both scanners offer great quality and scan at an optical resolution of 600 dots per inch. Both scanners offer features like optical character recognition or OCR, streak removal, blank page removal, and automatic file naming. Both also offer two-sided duplex scanning and support scanning very long documents like very lengthy receipts. One of the most important differences between the iX1600 and the FI8170 is that whereas the iX1600 is not Twain or ISIS compatible, the FI8170 includes standard Twain and ISIS drivers, which allow you to use it with countless third-party applications, such as Adobe Photoshop and Acrobat, Microsoft Word and Excel, and hundreds of others that support direct scanning. This means that if you have more particular scanning needs, and if you have industry-specific software that can connect directly with the scanner, the FI8170 will get the job done where the iX1600 won't. Because the FI8170 scans faster, holds more paper, is designed to handle more scan jobs, and can connect to countless different kinds of software, the advantage in this category goes to the FI8170. In terms of price, I usually see the iX1600 going for between $450 and $700, depending on where you get it and if you purchase any extra features like additional warranty. The FI8170 generally costs a bit more, usually around $1,100 or more. Because the iX1600 is less expensive, I'll give it the advantage in this category. However, although the FI8170 costs more, it's also designed to handle more scans, up to a daily duty cycle of up to 10,000 scans, whereas the FI8170 is only designed to handle up to 6,000 daily scans. So what have we learned from these comparisons? For its smaller footprint and sleek design, the iX1600 has the advantage in terms of size and appearance. For its touchscreen and greater versatility, particularly in multi-user environments, the iX1600 also has the advantage in terms of user interface. Again, for its touchscreen and ability to connect wirelessly and to more kinds of devices, the iX1600 has the advantage in terms of connectivity. In terms of capacity, speed, scan quality and features, the FI8170 has the advantage as it beats the iX1600 in almost every one of these subcategories. For its lower price tag, the iX1600 has the advantage, but the FI8170 costs more because it's built for business and offers higher end features. At the end of the day, it's up to you to look at these factors and decide which scanner would do the best job for you and your specific needs. If you want a less expensive option that works great for scanning all kinds of things for personal and small business, I'd go with the iX1600. If you can spend a bit more and you plan to scan lots of documents and want something designed for business use, the FI8170 is a very popular, high quality choice. If your specific goal is to scan receipts and invoices for accounting purposes, you may want to check out my video on the new iX1600 Receipt Edition Scanner, which offers specific integrations with bookkeeping software. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I unbox these scanners, review them, and show you how to install and set up the ScanSnap home software. If you end up purchasing a ScanSnap iX1600 or FI8170 desktop scanner, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon which will support me and my channel. If you'd like to see another comparison video, please check out my video in which I compare the ScanSnap iX1600 with the smaller but powerful ScanSnap iX1300 desktop scanner. So with that, there you have it. 
That's my comparison of the ScanSnap iX1600 and FI8170 desktop scanners. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which contains an easy to use comparison table, feature guide, and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.